Good morning, Mr. Phelps. Former KGB Linex officer Alexander Golitsyn, now working black market intelligence under official cover, has abducted one of our top computer experts, IMF agent Candace Parker, and has stolen one half of the CIA NOC list she was carrying, naming all of our non-official cover agents in Eastern Europe. This list is divided into two encoded halves. The half Golitsyn has is useless without the other half, which is stored at CIA headquarters in Langley. Candace is now imprisoned in the Russian embassy in Prague, where they are trying to decode the list, probably believing she has the key to the code. We also know they have a powerful computer there and are probably using it to try to break the code. Special Agent Robert Barnes was deployed in disguise to free Candace and make it look like Golitsyn's fault. This is so as to discredit him with Moscow. However, we've heard nothing from Barnes since, and we suspect he's been caught. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, is to penetrate during tomorrow night's embassy function. Find Candace, copy the list, destroy the computer, and escape with Candace and Barnes to be still alive. As always, should you or any of your IM force be caught or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Chip. We placed you on the guest list for a society function at the Russian Embassy in Prague, where Candice Parker and Robert Barnes are being kept prisoner. There you will make contact with Agents Davis and Harmon, who have already infiltrated the Embassy and can provide useful information and equipment. Remember to hide smoke generators in the ventilation ducts to prepare for your escape. You will have to assume the identity of the Ambassador's aide as he has access to the restricted areas of the embassy. Dieter Harmon's spicy cocktail should come in handy here. You're in trouble. Schofield, a killer is on your tail. You must get rid of her. I've got to hide the smoke generators in those ventilation ducts. Oh, pleased to meet you. May I introduce you to my good friend, Miss Davies? It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr... Smith. Have a look-alike at this party, Mr. Smith. Someone showed us your picture. In fact, she said you're an American movie star. Is that true? No, no. Actually... Oh, don't worry. We won't tell. Have a nice evening. Sarah, I have to find the face maker and... Shh, Ethan. I have it with me. Do you want it now? Wait a sec. Let's make sure no one's looking at us. Okay, Sarah, let's have it now. Watch out for Schofield. She's extremely dangerous. You have to put the killer to sleep. My pleasure. Have you seen the ambassador's aide, Dieter? No, he must have gone upstairs momentarily. How can we get him to come down? You might ask the piano player. Maybe he could entice him down with music. Have you seen the Ambassador's aide? I think I saw him go upstairs. Do you expect him to return soon? Not unless he hears his hometown's national anthem. 
the Slobodskaya march. Can you play it? I need to speak with him urgently. I'd love to, but some idiot walked off with the score. Fruit Panster. Thank you. Do you know where the Ambassador's aid is? I'm sorry, he's not a big drinker, so I don't see him much. You mean he doesn't drink? Never. He toasts a lot, though. from Hollywood. Sorry, you must be mistaken. But the woman in red said she was a journalist. She wants to interview you. Are you working on a movie here? No, she's wrong. Room's probably the safest place to knock someone out unnoticed. Good night, sweetheart. Play it? Sure, comrade. Listen to this. What can I do with this poison drink here? I'd be very grateful if you'd let me listen to this delightful song. Excuse me, sir. One moment, please. Waiter, please. A toast to Sloborskaya, city of great men. Yes, to Sloborskaya. Nazrovny. I'm feeling sick. Finish the mission before he wakes up. Getting right on it.
Good evening, Your Excellency. 